Welcome back to the Miami Dolphins High School Football Show presented by Champs and Under Armour. Now, on last week's show, you saw we were the first show to bring you complete high school scores. We are truly your number one source for everything high school football. Officially in week two of the season, there are some hardcore matchups across the board, but there is one specific rivalry that stands amongst the rest and brings us to the Champs Feature of the Week. They're our first and really only true rival in Dade County. It's a huge game for bragging rights, and you know it doesn't count on your record, and you want to win. Everybody we play doesn't like it. We know that, we accept it, we embrace it, but this is the one school that we play that they're the same type of kids, and it's a true rivalry. Yeah, we can see the intensity in practice uh, kicked up a notch, no doubt about it. But we prepare them the same way every The coaches work hard all week and long to, to make sure we put them in the right spots. And, I kids know them very well. Uh, we've been playing them for a few years. Um, we, we prepare them as usual. We, we prepare it just like any other game. It's a big rivalry for us. I'm really excited to play against them. Uh, they're a good team, but I feel like we're a good team and we're just going to go out there and do what we all know we can do. But Lane, you know, likes to talk. We like to talk. They never, never got a chance to beat us. I think they never, I never will. We're pretty close friends throughout the summer. And then when the game's coming close, um, we strap it up and we get ready to face each other on the field. It's a good test to see where we're at right now in the beginning of the season. And it'll just help us down the road and we get to know what we got to do to get better for those other big games that we're going to face later on in the season. Physically, we're, we're really prepared. Um, we're really conditioned a lot. Um, really hard to summer. <laughs> It's big then, it's big now, and it'll always be big. Because this go way back. I mean, we always play basketball games, but this is a new coming in football. So, I mean, the fans, the alumni, the principals, everybody, they into this game. It actually means something this year. We, uh, it's during our regular season. Well, this is uh, going be our fifth year playing. In this game, it doesn't matter about class size or anything else. Uh, it, they're just two good, good football teams that go out there once a year in front of 10, 12,000 fans and get after it for four quarters. Well, it's just, it's been hype since last year and the years past. It's because it's been such close for the past two years. And it's just, it's just getting building and building as the weeks come on. You can just feel it in school. You can feel it when you're with alumni. You can, it's just, it's just starting to build up and they, they just expect a lot from the game because it's been so close. It's a really special game to us. Um, it's not just all about the rivalry, but it's about um, prove people wrong because we are the smaller school, we are the underdogs. The one thing that, that he doesn't like to advertise, Coach Stewart, I love him to death. He's a great football coach. They're a well-coached football team, but he's a Columbus grad. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun uh, playing. I get, I, get, I get teased a lot. You're a traitor, you know, the whole bit. We just want to win a game. They want to win a game. All that goes out the window. <laughs> we're never going to back down no matter what. We're always going to be, we're always going to push it no matter, no matter what happens. Fourth quarter, five minutes left, and we're down. We're... <laughs> I gotta say, man, we're coming out. It's gonna be a dog fight. There's always bragging rights. This is Belen and Columbus. Now let's see what happens with the hometown robbery on the Under Armour Day Game of the Week. This week's Day County Game of the Week pits 3A Belen Jesuit and 6A Columbus in front of over 10,000 at FIU Stadium. Belen gets on the board first, chewing up the clock. A nine-minute drive ending with Wolverine's Imani Davis diving in from the sixth to let up 7 nothing. But back come the Explorers, and who else? Ja'Cory Gore. Belen will get a heavy dose of the senior all night long. He scores from 10 yards out to tie the game at 7. Third quarter, and it's Gore again. This time from one yard out, 13-7 Explorer. Third and long, Belen forced to go to the air. Nick Platt looking for Sergio Fernandez Soto, but Randy Kirkshaws comes up with the interception. And the Explorers know what to do with it. Give it to Gore. The senior takes the handoff through the left side. 56 yards. No one's going to catch him. Columbus up 19-7 after three. But why stop there? In the fourth, Garrett Kalas pitches it to Gore. This time, around the right side. He weaves through traffic. This time, it's a 54-yard touchdown. He ended the night with 229 yards on 16 carries. Later in the fourth, 
From the 32, Kalau hands it off to Jacori. He starts right, then busts through the middle, heads for the sideline, and he could go all the way. But here comes Pablo Alvarez dragging him down at the 8. After a penalty, Columbus would have to settle for a 32-yard field goal by Wes Keller. That made the score 29-7. Desperation time for the Wolverines. Platt drops back, looking for Alvarez, throws it deep into double coverage, picked off by the safety. He'll do a nice job on the return. Platt picked off twice on the night. This one returned inside the 20. From there, Kalau calls his own number and piles it on the Wolverines, taking the first real game of the rivalry, 36-7.